Hello everyone, welcome to Chip, right? Uh, in this video, we are going to uh, see how, how to create a, um, a VCC and a ground plane. And uh, um, this will in, uh, involve uh, adding in multi layers. So you can also um, learn how to add, add layers in the PCBs and then uh, use it for uh, signal or planes. But uh, I am going to be focusing on uh, only uh, the planes for now. So here you can see we have a, a simple circuit. Um, we don't need to consider this to be a, a like uh, the circuit should be like this, uh, like a specific circuit or something. It's uh, just uh, to understand how the planes work. So uh, now um, let's convert the circuit to PCB. So now we have the patterns and the nets to say. And uh, before that, I want to show you something else. Here, uh, you can just uh, rename your nets to VCC. And uh, here I am. I have renamed this as ground. So when I touch this net, it will show it as ground. And if I touch this net, it will show us as VCC. Okay, let's switch. Now let's have a board outline, uh, like a normal rectangular board. Just make a. Um, I always change my units to mils. Let's go to board points, create, and then add thousand five hundred. Cross thousand five hundred. Uh, just uh, this is not. Uh, like uh, mandatory, uh, I'm just creating a board because we are not focusing on creating a board outline, we are focusing on adding the layers. So now we have the board outline, so it's visible here. Um, I'll zoom in now. Uh, I think this is going to act, occupy more space, I'm just replacing the component here. Okay, now um, let's place the connector somewhere like this. And then let's place the cap. Sorry. I'm just trying to arrange the components from in a symmetry. So now I'll be, uh, after placement of the component, I'm just uh, trying to root it. And I'm not going to root these lines. This is going to be our uh, VCC, you can see here. And this is going to be our ground uh, net. So I'm not going to root this. Uh, now we have two layers here. You can see the layers listed here, top and bottom. And uh, let's uh, have some rooting on the top and let's have some rooting at the bottom. Um, so I'll check, uh, just select this router. With this, I will uh, rotate at the bottom, so at least we need one to be on the bottom. So 
so let's keep it like this so now you can see uh, we have uh, the VCC and ground and one more is left out let's uh, change that yeah okay now uh, we have some of the traces on the uh, top and uh, some of the traces in the bottom so the second so you can use your um, like uh, the numbers on the keyboard to switch to this uh, um, layers now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add layers First of all, how, how to add layers is like you have to uh, go here and you have an option here, the plus symbol. So here you can make it VCC. I'll change the color to differentiate the layers. And I'm making it like signal, plane, and non, we have uh, layer types of signal, plane, and non signal. So signal is basically just to root the um, like in, in the inner layers, uh, uh, but um, plane is what we are going to see and non-signal layers are again I'm going to say what is there. Uh, let's select plane here and just um, plated holes by pads will be the one we can select and then you can uh, select the VCC or uh, like uh, you have options here also. I'll tell you now not to use this. Uh, let's go for our, uh, another option. I'll tell you uh, how to do it. So let's select this and click OK. And then now we can see here top, bottom, and now we have the VCC. I'm going to add another layer here, which is going to be marked as ground. And then again, I'm going to change the color. make it a little lighter and then now we have top VCC ground and bottom so now we can see here we have four layers and the press currently allows you to uh, create four layers and uh, now what we are going to do next is like we are going to create the planes here in objects we have an option called copper port so you can select copper board and then click on the edges of the board just draw the copper like this and just enter now it will ask you whether to fill it fully or like in the mesh pattern or something else so we we are going to select something like full uh, so how we are going to do is it's not on the top layer so we are going to create it in the VCC and the ground plane. So what you are going to do is select VCC plane. Then the copper power option is here. And here you have an option connectivity. You can make it uh, like which net it has to connect. So now we are going to connect this to VCC. This is VCC plane, so we are going to connect it to VCC. Next, we will go to ground. Now we are going to create a plane for ground. That's it. So now we have one, two, and three, and four. So the traces are in red to indicate its bottom. Then here it's completely orange, ground, and then top, and then here we have the top. Now I'm going to show you what is the difference and how it is going to connect. Now if you go to the second layer, which is VCC plane, you can see that this particular um, which we left it unrouted so here this is VCC 
and you can see the pads are connected connected to the uh, um, completely this plane okay and here if you see other pads you can see an extra circle a ring which actually says that this pad is not connected with this layer so uh, in this you can see many pads and you can see only these two pads are connected to VCC and these are all VCC uh, uh, connected to the VCC net now if you go to layer uh, 3 which is the ground uh, plane um, there you can see like the same VCC is disconnected you can see a outer ring which says that this is not this pad is not connected with this copper and now but at the same time you have um, other um, pads which actually are connected to the ground um, nets and uh, those are actually connected to the, this plane so other pads are actually disconnected so uh, without actually uh, adding a trace we are directly connecting it to the pads by this method and why is it actually required is basically um, when we have uh, we, we might only use ground planes also and we might use VCC and ground planes and this might be used uh, for uh, like um, uh, having a proper power planes or something like that and if you are going to use complete ground plane it can help in uh, the uh, electromagnetic compatibility when there is an electromagnetic interference so this is how we add uh, the planes and uh, um, adding a signal layer is also similar here uh, where we will not use the copper pores and we will only uh, route the pads to say but what is a non-signal layer here is non-signal layer basically um, or like it's not a VCC or a ground plane or it can be a VCC or ground plane like where we if there is a di uh, different different circuits uh, each circuit can have a separate planes so for example you can just draw a plane only for this part and then this part separately so what happens is we can have the plane split in the same PCB which is actually a split plane called a split plane so that's uh, that's the purpose of the non-signal layers still it's not a signal layer and it's not completely a plane but it can be added to different circuits and only dedicated to that circuit and such kind of things are non-signal uh, layer so uh, I just wanted to show you with a simple um, circuit here maybe if we go, uh, try to go with a 3D outline um, let's see here we have the connectors, resistor, all these things and the tire traces and at the bottom you will have another trace, that's it. So in between the layers are, are will not be visible because uh, that's how the PCB is designed. So this is how it works. I hope uh, you really uh, uh, like this video. Um, kindly sh uh, share, like and subscribe. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching.